Okay, great. So in this tutorial, uh, we are all set to move forward in terms of how to create an actual email campaign uh, that you'll be able to craft uh, to send out your release to these targeted contacts. So once you have your lists created, then you're ready to move on to the next step, which is uh, creating an actual email campaign. So we're going to click on email campaign. And obviously you can see uh, there is nothing in here yet. So we're ready to create a new one. You can either click on create one now or you can click on new campaign. Now, for those who either don't have enough time or don't have like uh, resources or are not comfortable uh, doing a uh, their own campaign, uh, we do have uh, order pitch writing services available if you needed some assistance. Uh, there is a small fee associated with it, uh, but one of our PR strategists will be working with you in terms of creating a pitch and uh, we'll be sending it to you uh, if you order that service uh, for review and approval and we'll be able to um, hone in and modify uh, exactly what you want to say in terms of your, your pitch. But for those who are comfortable, uh, you just click on new campaign and you'll be taken to the email campaign section uh, of the dashboard uh, under the outreach. You can name the, the campaign whatever you need to. Um, I, what I like to do is I like to organize it based on date. So for example, if this is for August 16th, I'm just gonna put August 16th uh, media campaign. You can name it whatever you want. No one is gonna see this name. It just helps you keep things uh, organized and track uh, after you're doing uh, subsequent email campaigns in the future. And you'll be able to reference you know, you know, when this was sent out. Uh, okay, so in this particular case, we have an example. Uh, we have a drafted press release in which we're announcing a partnership uh, with a content provider. And uh, there's quite a number of different options here. If you had more than one piece of content, you'll be able to select uh, which content that you want to highlight as part of your email campaign. So at first, uh, it'll select the summary. So what, what it does, it pulls in the headline and it pulls in the summary and then has a link directly to the release on newswire.com. You also have the option to also include a full content. And I'm going to click yes. This will overwrite what was there before and will provide you full text of the actual uh, release. And this is good because most journalists do not want to receive an attachment. And if you did have an attachment, most likely it won't be open. So it's always good to have as part of your email body uh, uh, the actual press release themselves. Now, <clears throat> if you did have an image, it'll also be uh, inserted as well. But you also have a tool here which will allow you to insert images uh, as part of your email campaign as well. Just click on this one. It'll uh, opt, uh, um, prompt you to select a particular image. You can upload the image, you can resize the image, and then that is that in terms of having that image included as part of your email uh, campaign. I'm click on cancel. Now, as part of the email campaign section, we've actually created three separate templates that might be helpful for you in terms of creating the pitch. Um, there is a first look, there is an exclusive, and there is a media advisory. We're gonna go through each example uh, in just a few moments. If I select template for a first look, it'll replace what was there before, and it'll give you some tips and tricks in terms of how you can fill this in to modify to be customized to your particular needs. Now, as part of the email pitch, uh, one of the best practices I like to uh, let clients know is that try to respect the time uh, of the journalist and recipient and try to get to the gist of the story short. And uh, this particular template, First Look, is great for product launches. Anytime that you have something to announce in terms of uh, giving the journalist uh, first dibs in terms of the story. So anything that's yellow here, uh, you'll just modify. Uh, I'll just modify here. And you can just go in and, and change the text accordingly. Again, this is just a, an easy way for you to kind of get started in terms of, let's see. We want to make sure that we remove any of the highlighted sections. And uh, I will say Newswire. And because this is um, 
uh, you had selected a particular industry, uh, this will select that industry. But in order to make sure that we cover the right news, um, I want to focus on the content marketing news and stories. And we thought that this might be an interesting to story to share with your audience. One thing to get, try to make your pitch as helpful as possible. Uh, give them something to really uh, chew on in terms of what would make this announcement newsworthy. We're going to have some other guides available. We have a free guide available in our resources section. Um, I'll share that with you uh, probably uh, in another tutorial on some tips and tricks in terms of how to create additional pitches. But this first look template uh, provides you just some insights in terms of how you would craft your uh, email uh, pitch to journalists to make it easy for them to digest. All right. Try to highlight some key features. Bullets are always great to have. Makes things easy, uh, easy to skim, easy to, to understand. And try to keep things as short as possible. Um, this will automatically fill in your details. Try to fill in your details here as well. Um, as for the content de contact details, uh, it will be sent from Newswire uh, to these recipients. But anytime that you want to have a reply sent back to you, please put the proper email address and replies uh, in, in this particular section. Now, this is important. As for selected contacts, um, if you imported your list, you can click on this. But what I like to tell clients is just select the appropriate list that you wanted to target so then you'll be able to see um, exactly who you're targeting. So let's just click on uh, the movie and film NYC list that we selected. If you wanted to select multiple lists, you can just click on add list. If you ended up selecting the list twice, don't worry. Just to let you know, the system will check for duplicates. So there's no issue there. You can send yourself a test email and uh, check to make sure the formatting is correctly. If you ever wanted to add a link, for example, you can click on link. Uh, you can do newswire.com. The tracking link is actually the link of the release uh, or the piece of content on Newswire. Just click OK. And now this is a clickable link that you wanted to uh, have in the email campaign. You can save the draft and you can also schedule it at a future date. Please note that uh, you are limited on the number of email credits available. And I'll, I'll get uh, that covered in the next email, uh, in, in, in the next video. Okay, so I'm going to click on Save Draft. Okay, so this is how you create a campaign uh, in terms of using the template, filling out appropriately, and scheduling it out. Uh, we did save it as a draft. If we click on Email Campaigns, you can see here that it is saved as a draft, and uh, you always are able to click on Edit to edit accordingly and always, again, best practices, send yourself a test email. In the next video tutorial, we're going to talk further into the various templates and how you would um, use those in your uh, particular campaigns that you're announcing.